Hi, this is Elder Jerome Mack with your word for the week. As we are have been going through things like we've never gone through before, this pandemic, uh, terms like shelter in place, uh, COVID-19, people are literally leaving this world uh, by the groves day after day. We hear news that's not favorable. We hear a lot of depressing things. People are going through things so tremendous and the world is always looking for a way to overcome it in their own strength. That's virtually impossible. Without Jesus, there is no hope. We, the church, the living God, have hope. And if anybody watching this video, if you don't have hope, Jesus is the only one. He's the only love of our of our soul. He's the only one that cares about us better than anybody ever can. He has our best interests at heart and he brought us into this world, gave us an opportunity to be saved so that we can go and spend eternity with him. It was never meant for us to stay on this planet forever. We were. It was God's intent for us to spend eternity with him. We are eternal beings. These bodies are going to get old and they're going to certainly die if the Lord doesn't come back before we do. But still, that is our hope. Look to Jesus. Focus on those things that are eternal. Paul was writing in Philippians. He said that I may apprehend him who apprehended me. God initiated this thing from the beginning. That means that our strength, our desires and everything that are that are right come from him. And certainly, if we continue to follow the Lord, he is a father that will provide. If we get weak, he provides strength. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I think prior to that, it says, the, the them that have no might, he increases strength. So when we press to God, when we look to Him, He provides everything we need to keep moving forward, keep pressing forward. Yes, finances are challenging. And there's COVID-19 and there's all these things that seem like they're hindering us. They're, the walls are, we're, are, 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 are closing in because of cabin fever or we feel like we're caged or we're, the government is trying to control. There's lots of things going on out there in the world, but pay attention to the word of God. That's our eternal hope. Faith in Jesus alone will take us where we need to be. From glory to glory, from faith to faith. Keep pressing on. Be encouraged. God is not shocked. In fact, he knows exactly what's going on. And at this time where we are not able to gather together as a, as a corporate or as corporate believers, we have this opportunity to have private, personal time with Jesus. That's what I'm getting out of it. Knowing who he is, knowing who loves me whose I am and whom I am to serve. I'm not here to serve myself. I'm not here to look for things to go my way. I'm still going to be following after him, pursuing him, seeking his faith. And I find out that a lot of the times I've been distracted. We get an opportunity to put away those things that are superficial. And nobody can hear us sing, shout, see us dance, or do any of the things like we normally would have to do, uh, or should, rather, should I say, have happened in corporate worship, not in the public's eye. And I've determined that I am not going to be publicly successful looking and be a private failure. That's not happening. I want authentic conviction. I want genuine desire for God, not what I do in corporate worship. When I go to worship, I want to be able to go out into the world, into the marketplace, and to serve God, not looking for anything from the world, because he says in his word, his reward is with him. So keep pressing to Jesus, because Jesus is the only way. He's the only lover of our soul. He's the only one that cares, and certainly he knows our name. Be blessed. Have a beautiful week. God's love you, and so do I.